Bunkichi and Mitsuko, sometimes referred to as the old couple, are the owners of a used bookstore in Iwatodai Station and can be found very early on in the game. Upon first entering the store, the two of them recognize Makoto's uniform as the one worn at Gekokan High School, and Munkichi asks Makoto if he's ever seen a persimmon tree there. He then begins to explain that this tree was planted right beside a walkway in the school courtyard, and Makoto decides to head to the school and check it out. Upon arriving at the tree, he picks up a leaf that fell from it and decides to bring it back to the old couple. And as soon as Makoto re-enters the store, Bunkichi immediately recognizes the leaf and asks him if he can get a closer look at it. Bunkichi then explains that he and his wife Mitsuko have been meaning to go and see that tree for quite some time now, but that their old age prevents them from easily being able to do so. After a very lively chat, Makoto and the couple formally introduce themselves to each other, and Makoto decides to head home for the day. Upon arriving at a later date for a second visit though, something's not right. Bunkichi seems delirious and absent-minded, even forgetting who Makoto is at times. Mitsuko apologizes to Makoto for her husband's bout of forgetfulness before Bunkichi starts aggravatedly asking where their spoiled son ran off to. Mitsuko becomes increasingly upset over this inquiry before Bunkichi promptly snaps out of his forgetful trance and remembers that their son is actually dead, and that he has been for quite some time. Over the next few ranks, we learn that the old couple's son was actually a beloved teacher at Gekokan High School who was tragically killed in a car crash, and that the persimmon tree in the courtyard was planted by the school in his memory. But as of late, a troubling rumor has emerged that the school might be planning to cut down the tree, much to the dismay of the old couple. And when this rumor eventually turns to fact, the two of them are heartbroken by Gekokan's decision as they desperately search for a way to preserve the memorial of their late son. But then, when Makoto stops by to visit one day, the two of them have some excellent news. Recently, many of their son's former students have begun gathering at the school to collect signatures to save the tree. And Bunkichi and Mitsuko are deeply touched by this. They had no idea that so many people remembered their son and were willing to go out of their way to help preserve his legacy at the school. Things are looking really bright for the couple and their beloved tree until one day when Makoto comes to visit and Bunkichi has something to say. Despite all of their tenacious efforts to preserve the tree, he and Mitsuko have ultimately decided to give Gekokan the go-ahead to chop it down. Confused, Makoto asks him why they would do this, and Bunkichi begins to explain. After visiting the tree again sometime recently, he ran into a student on the way back that told him that Gekokan was actually planning to chop the tree down in order to make room for new additions to the school. And after gaining this new perspective on the situation, the two of them come to the conclusion that it would simply be unfair to potentially rob students of new learning opportunities just to preserve a memorial. And as difficult as it may be for them, Bunkichi and Mitsuko ultimately decide that it's time to say farewell to their beloved persimmon tree. And though this may at first seem like a rather unfortunate send-off to the community's widespread efforts to preserve it, Bunkichi and Mitsuko can proudly say that none of it was for naught because it was only through all of the protesting and petition gathering that they finally came to realize just how much of an impact their son truly had on the lives of each and every one of his students. And in the end, it's no big deal if the material reminder of their son is gone, because even in their forgetful golden years, they'll always remember him, and he'll always live on in their hearts as well as in the ones of those he taught. I really like this social link because of the way that it explores one of my personal favorite contributions to Persona 3's core theme of death the concept of immortality through legacy. For just a moment, let's take a look at a section from the message that appears upon getting a game over in Persona 3. Death is not a hunter unbeknownst to its prey. One is always aware that it lies in wait. Though life is merely a journey to the grave, it must not be undertaken without hope. Only then will a traveler's story live on, treasured by those who bid him farewell. The fear of death is a fear as old as humanity itself. In fact, the oldest recorded piece of literature ever, the Epic of Gilgamesh, focuses on exactly that. The story of a king whose fear of death pushes him to embark on a quest to find the secret of immortality, only for him to come to the dreadful human realization that there's simply no such thing. However, whilst reflecting on the fantastical journey he had undertaken in the process, he ultimately makes peace with his death, as the legendary status he's achieved and the many adventures he's beheld will always live on through the stories told by those he impacted during his life. And that's what the Epic of Gilgamesh is, the story passed down throughout dozens upon dozens of generations that serves to immortalize him, and teach the simple lesson that it's not about living forever, but about making the most of the time that you do have, and finding your place in the hearts and minds of the people around you, so that your story may live on as well. And I find that that simple lesson is one of the main takeaways in this social link. For Bunkichi and Mitsuko, the persimmon tree served to immortalize their son, so when it was threatened with erasure, so was his memory. 
That was until they witnessed firsthand the legacy that their son left behind in the form of his students, and realized that even without the tree, he and his story are sure to live on through them and remain in their hearts for generations to come.